like doing a science fiction movie because there's so little written about this time period in America. The proper thing to do would be to um, finish him off quick. He's to be cared for as long as necessary. I understand. Get away! How? What happened? We did what we had to do. He was buried right. All I had was my boy. And he took him from me, you understand? All right, how you guys doing? Good, Put on good. Weight a bit. For a little bit, man. I've been, yeah, I've been in the gym working out. I know. When you saw me at Mad Max, I was smaller. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to bulk it up a little bit, man. I'm trying to stay in shape, man. You know? I want to get that look, man. I'm myself so smooth. Yeah. Now, but what are you trying to do, man? I mean, you went, from, you went from Mad Max to this. I mean, are you trying to break some sort of shooting endurance record? You no, know, I'm just trying to stay game for the employed. Nice, nice. But nice work. All right. What was the biggest challenge? Because this thing was so physically demanding, but it was cool. But I know the challenge was shooting it, because it was just a challenge just to get to each set each day. Like two or three hours to get there, then you work. Two or three hours to get back home. Well, I think we, we kind of all knew what we were signing up for from the onset, but the weather conditions were the real struggle for all of us. Logistically, we had to go to far off, untouched locations in the middle of the wilderness and do very intricate shots and stunts and sequences that involve lots of rehearsal, but it was the changing climate that always was a struggle for us. One day we'd come in and, you know, an entire sequence that we thought was gonna be in snow, there'd be no snow for weeks, or the opposite would happen. Or it was underwater. It's or it was underwater. Completely washed out. Yeah. Yeah, you did, you did on land and water. It was a lot of different elements you had to deal with on the shoot, but because it took place in the time period that it took place in, what did you do to get the mindset of how someone would actually live through that sort of situation back then? It's a little different if you get lost in the woods today as opposed to going through that scenario oh, back yeah. then. Yeah, very much so. Um, <clears throat> I mean, everything was I mean catered to deal with that period in time. So when we arrived, every, all the elements from design, props, costume, it was focused s exclusively on this particular project. So once we, w once you got Im immersed in that world, it was then a, a, you know a, a question of um, just picking up as many small pieces as possible to fill out your sight picture on character. So the mindset happened, I think, was started to develop as as soon as we arrived on the ground because it was you know corralled to create that. Right. And we had a lot of people on set that were advisors for us that were mm. very nostalgic about this time period and almost looked at like the mountain man as a, a spiritual a philosophy almost. Mm. Their integration with nature. And but I say it's like it was kind of like doing a science fiction movie because there's so little written about this time period in America. It's kind of like the Amazon. There was it was a lawless, uh, you know, untouched landscape. And so we, we really relied on fur trappers, journals, Native American stories. There were no historians back then, so we had to sort of create this from etchings, you know, so to speak. And, but it was really the advisors that helped us a lot about yeah. to understand how they would survive under these harsh conditions and what their mentality was like. Now, what Actually, shoot. Where was the locations? Where, Alberta, we, where was it located? Alberta, in Calgary, and uh, oh, Ishawaya at the southern end of the tip of all the snow pack melted by the time we were gonna finish the movie. So 
we had to go to the southern tip of Argentina to do the last sequences of the film. And what did you find out to be the most interesting thing about shooting in those particular areas in parts of the world? How warm it is. <laughs> yeah, no. How invitingly warm it is. The, the sub-zero temperatures were a constant struggle. I mean, that was the main... When you put yourself in those environments, it becomes about just the basics. And for me, the basics were... How do I not let my fingers lock up from being frozen every single day? And that paradox is it's such an incredibly beautiful, stunning, and breathtaking environment as well, which mm -hmm. is you know, which is trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah. You know, where you're standing and you want to take it all in, and then you realize, you know, that it's not, it's a dangerous place. Well, job well done, masterful. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. You too.